So you want to control a servo with your tablet or smartphone. You are watching the right video then. This is Crazy with Arduino for Noobs. And in this video I'll show you at least a simple demonstration on how to move a servo from 15 degrees to 180 with a tablet. Where you just hit one button and it goes to 180. Hit another and it goes to back to 15 degrees. Now here's how the magic works. We have an ESP8266 Node MCU. It's hooked up to a Pro Micro Arduino. I have a pin D1 hooked up to pin 2 on the Arduino. And I have uh, the servo, the uh, data wire is hooked up into pin 15. So on my uh, control panel here, I'll just let you know that uh, device 1 is D1. Device 2 is D2, device 3 is on pin D3, and device 4 is on pin D7 for some reason on the Node MCU. So if you want to do uh, more than one button in different positions, that's possible with some modification of the code, which the code is in the link, of the, script, the link is in the description, so you guys can follow along and take it and modify and do what you want with it. So here it goes. You, there will be two files up, up on the GitHub page where one will be for the node NCU, one will be for the Arduino, it doesn't have to be a Pro Micro, it could be any, any Arduino as long as you follow the same pins. But once you have them both uploaded on each, you'll have to upload the right one to the right board. Once everything is uploaded right, you plug them in, you'll have to connect to, the, to your node MCU through Wi-Fi. Once you find it in your list and you connect to it, you pull up a browser, you go to 192.168.4.1 and it'll bring you to this dashboard right here. Now from this dashboard, right now, the Node NCU is telling the Arduino that the button is impressed. And it's doing that by giving it a low signal. So right now the pin is low and at low at default it'll be at 15 degrees. Now when I hit the button, This is telling the node NCU to put the button high, or the pin. It'll put pin 2 on the Arduino as high. So it's almost like you're actually pressing a button. You, you go low when it's not pressed, you press it and it goes high. It's the same idea, but you're doing it through proxy through a, a server that's built into the node NCU. So as you can see, it's instantaneous. I hit the button, it's going to go. And um, applications for this, say uh, you wanted to put the servo somewhere where you didn't want a physical button, well now you can just pull out your phone and, and manipulate it from anywhere. You can also, instead of a servo, use it for a 5 volt relay. Now with your 5 volt relay you can power say a garage door or something and you know one button, it's open, another button, it's closed. It's just that simple. So I hope you guys have fun with this and uh, either test out and play with it or modify it and make it something even cooler. Uh, if you do, I'd love to know about it and share it with me and uh, say some, leave some kind of comment on my GitHub page. Uh, I hope this helped you guys. I, I love helping the noobs because I've only been doing this for about a month and a half or two months myself. So I'm glad I can help out already. Um, hope you enjoy and I got plenty of other videos to watch. So. Check them out.